Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manohar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how to do on-demand provisioning using Microsoft Entra Connect Cloud Sync. On-demand provisioning in Microsoft Entra Connect Cloud Sync is a feature that allows you to synchronize and provision user identities from your on-premises Active Directory to Microsoft Entra ID whenever needed rather than on a regular scheduled basis. This capability enables more flexibility and control over when user data is synced which can be particularly useful in scenarios where you need to manage identity synchronization more dynamically. Typically, Cloud Sync uses a scheduled sync cycle to keep data in sync between on-premises Active Directory and Microsoft Entra ID. With on-demand provisioning, an admin can trigger the sync manually from the Microsoft Entra Admin Center via PowerShell. There are mainly three use cases for using on-demand provisioning. First, if there is an urgent need to provision a user, group or other directory object to Microsoft Entra ID without waiting for the next scheduled sync. Second, when you want to selectively synchronize certain users or groups rather than waiting for the full sync process. And third, for testing the effects of changes to the on-premises Active Directory schema or user accounts in a controlled on-demand manner. Most of the time, on-demand provisioning is used to validate and confirm that the changes made to the configuration have been applied correctly and are being properly synchronized to Microsoft Entra ID. We have single domain Active Directory Forest. This is our domain controller named ws2k25-dc01 for msftwebcast.in domain. On this Windows Server 2025 system, we have installed Microsoft Entra Cloud Sync to synchronize on-premises Active Directory objects with Microsoft Entra ID. Go back to Microsoft Entra Admin Center. We need to access and log into the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. You can access Microsoft Entra Admin Center using URL entra.microsoft.com. For this video, we use the Global Admin account to sign into the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. On overview page, we can see the basic information about our Microsoft Entra tenant. The primary domain name is msftwebcast.in and the license type is Microsoft Entra ID free subscription. Expand Identity menu and click on Show More. Go to Hybrid Management and then click on Microsoft Entra Connect. Now click on Cloud Sync. Under Configuration, select your configuration. Click on msftwebcast.in. Wait for a few seconds. Click on Provision on Demand. Enter the distinguished name of the user from the on-premises Active Directory and start the synchronization by clicking Provision. For this example, we will create a user in the on-premises Active Directory and then synchronize that user to a Microsoft Entra tenant. Open Run menu, type dsa.msc and hit Enter key. This will open the Active Directory Users and Computer Snap-in. Right-click on the user's OU and select New User. Fill in the new object user wizard with the required details. Click Next. Specify a password and ensure to uncheck the user must change password at Next Logon field. Click Next to continue. Click on Finish to finish creating the user account. Right click on the newly created user account and select Properties. Go to Attribute Editor tab and copy the distinguished name of the user account. Click OK and then click OK again. Go back to Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Paste the copied distinguished name of the user account. Now click on Provision. This may take a few seconds, so please wait. Once provisioning is complete, a success screen will appear with four green check marks. Any errors appear to the left. Under Import User, click on View Details. This page provides information on the user account who was imported from on-premises Active Directory. This is what the user looks like before provisioning into Microsoft Entra ID. By using this information, you can see the various attributes and their values that were imported. If you created a custom attribute mapping, you can see the value here. This page provides information on whether the user account who was imported to Microsoft Entra ID is in scope. This indicates that the account has passed the filter evaluation. Keep in mind that we have configured scoping filters. 
This page provides information on whether the user already exists in Microsoft Entera ID and whether a join should occur instead of provisioning a new user account. In our example, new user Ajay at msftwebcaster.in will be created in Microsoft Entera ID. Click on View Details on number 4. The Perform Action page provides information on the user account who was provisioned or exported into Microsoft Entera ID after the configuration was applied. This is what the user looks like after provisioning into Microsoft Entra ID. By using this information, you can see the values of the attributes after the configuration was applied. Do they look similar to what was imported or are they different? Was the configuration applied successfully? This process enables you to trace the attribute transformation as it moves through the cloud and into your Microsoft Entra tenant. We can confirm that user account from the on-premises Active Directory has been successfully created in Microsoft Entra ID with the following attributes. Let's verify this. Expand Users and click on All Users. Under All Users, you should be able to see the user Ajay Nagar. The on-premises sync enabled column will show yes, indicating that the source of authority for this object is the on-premises Active Directory. Click on Provision on Demand. Click on Scoping Filters. Scoping filters are used to specify which objects will be synchronized from on-premises Active Directory. We have only selected the objects for synchronization from our India OU. Let's try to provision a user account who is not stored under the India OU. Go back to Active Directory Users and Computers. Click on Users Built-in Container. We have created one more test user account with the name Amit Jogi. Let's try to provision this user account that is not stored under the India OU. Right click on the user account and select properties. Go to attribute editor tab and copy the distinguished name of the user account. Click OK, then click OK again. Go back to Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Now click on provision on demand. Paste the copy distinguished name of the user account. Now click on provision. This may take a few seconds, so please wait. In the last tab, check the message. User was skipped. Why? The user was not created this time because it is not located under the India OU, which was the only OU selected for synchronization. Since we have applied scoping filters to limit the objects for synchronization, any users outside of this OU will not be provisioned to Microsoft Entra ID. This is the reason why Amit Jogi is not provisioned to Microsoft Entra ID. In this video, we learn the steps to perform on-demand provisioning using Microsoft Entra Connect Cloud Sync. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or need further clarification, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Entra ID and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.